Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to measure PVC pipe. This will be an easy tutorial showing you how to measure the pipe and the fittings for PVC pipe. Let's get right into the video. Now for full disclosure, this is a piece of PVC pipe and this is an ABS fitting, okay? Now, um, I'm talking about PVC pipe specifically, but I'm gonna be using this for the demonstration because this is all that I had lying around and it's gonna be the same process for doing it with a PVC fitting. So just to be clear, this is an ABS fitting. This is a PVC pipe. I'm not using them together, but I'm just using this for demonstration purposes only. So if you take a look right here, when you're measuring your pipe and your fittings, you're gonna need a certain length to work with. I, I just hit my knee on that saw on the handle of this hand saw and it actually really hurts. So I apologize about if I sound like I'm in any pain because it really hurts. So we have um, a PVC, well we have a fitting right here, an ABS fitting. We're thinking of it as a PVC fitting. Now inside of the fitting, you'll notice that there's this lip right here. Now this lip is actually where the other pipe goes into. You can see right here, there's a piece that I cut off of an old project that I'm no longer using. And this is where the pipe goes into the fitting. So basically I have a spare piece over here. This pipe would go into the fitting there. Okay, just like that. And it actually goes all the way to the edge of the lip that you see there, okay? So when you're measuring your fitting and your PVC pipe, you need to incorporate that lip of the fitting into your length. So let's say for example, I needed to have um, six inches of PVC pipe after this edge of the fitting. So after the edge of the fitting, I needed the PVC pipe to come out six more inches. So the first thing you wanna do is take your measuring tape and you wanna measure how deep the fitting is. And the fittings are gonna be different depths and stuff because there's different manufacturers, there's different uh, dimensions for them. So you wanna take your measuring tape and you wanna get the measuring tape, make sure it fits inside of the pipe, obviously. Some measuring tapes are gonna be too big for the uh, fitting that you're using. And you're gonna place it inside of the pipe and you wanna stop the, uh, you wanna stop the edge of the measuring tape, the metal piece, on the edge of that lip right there, okay? So I'm gonna take my measuring tape and I'm gonna stop it on the edge of the lip right there. And I'm gonna look directly down at the number that I see. That's gonna be the depth, that's gonna be the depth of my fitting lip. So I'm holding it there and it's one and a half inches, okay? So if I held the measuring tape in place right here and I look directly down, at the edge of the PVC, of the, at the edge of the fitting right here, it's one and a half inches. So I know that this pipe over here is gonna go into the fitting by one and a half inches, and then I'm gonna see the pipe, okay? So, let's say I needed six inches on this pipe. First, I would actually mark off one and a half inches on the pipe, okay? Just to be clear. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use my marker right over here, and I'm gonna mark off one and a half inches on the pipe. So I'm marking off one and a half inches, it's right over there, on both sides of the measuring tape I was marked off. Okay, it's a very light marking because it's a little bit wet from the snow outside, but right there is my one and a half inch mark. So when I put this into the fitting, those one and a half inches are basically gonna be completely in here. The six inches that I need are after those one and a half inches. So you have two options. You can take your measuring tape, okay, and you can place it where you have that one and a half inch marking or whatever number it is that you're working with. Cause it can be more or less, it all depends on the, the actual depth of your fitting, okay? So I could take my measuring tape, I could place it on that mark, like that, and I can mark off six inches, just like that. So my six inch mark would be here, and that's where I would make my cut. And I'll explain why, and I'll tell you another quick method. So if I put this inside of that fitting, the first, one and a half inches, which are right there, would be completely in the fitting. Then I would start my six inches of PVC length and I would cut it right there. And that would give me six inches of exposed PVC, okay? Just to be absolutely clear. Now what you can do um, on the other hand is instead of measuring one and a half and then six, you could combine the two numbers. So I could combine the depth of the fitting, which in this case is one and a half inches, but it can be any number that you're working with, right? So I would combine one and a half in this case with the six inches that I needed, and that would give me seven and a half inches. So I could just go from the end right here, and I can measure seven and a half inches, and I can make my mark at the seven and a half inch mark. 
That's it. That is how to measure PVC pipe. Once again, I showed you how to measure the depth of the fitting, okay? And then the actual length that you would need for the pipe after the fitting. And just to be fully clear, this is ABS. Um, it's an ABS fitting. This is PVC pipe. But the process is gonna be the same when you're using PVC pipe with a PVC fitting. Like I said, I'm not combining these two or anything like that. I'm not talking about using ABS and PVC together. I'm strictly talking about using PVC. However, I'm just using this as for demonstration purposes only because I just had it lying around. That's it, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.